Hello folks, uh, what we've got for you today is a Mitsubishi Outlander front trans axle and uh, front inverter. We're going to be hopefully making this thing spin for you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect up the very safe power supply and then we'll Go ahead and uh, see if we can send some torque commands to this thing. Stand by. What could possibly go wrong? More power, Igor. Yeah, that should keep us in trouble. All right. Now, I got to... Do a couple of things simultaneously. First is we don't want to annoy my clientele, so I've got myself a uh, tight clip microphone thingy. So hopefully that will uh, make the sound a little bit better than last time. Oh, got the laptop. Need a USB cable to my little Arduino board. Now, so the first thing we need to do is to enable the inverter. So T3 should enable the motor side. Ooh, it's making whining sounds. If I go F15, it should give me 1.5 Newton meters forward. So it does. S for stop. And R15. For reverse. There we go. And S for stop. There we go. Alrighty. Now you can see that is our motor. Um, that's the front motor, which is thank you, multimeter, which is this guy here. We've also got a generator, which is the motor behind them here. So if we go T0, that disables our inverter. And I'm going to go ahead and bring you folks over this side a little bit. Time for some high-tech camera work here. Definitely. Uh, so, you should be able to see in there a little bit of orange tape that I've on our, uh, our engine. Um, Splined coupling shaft, input shaft, output shaft, whatever you want to call it. Now, can I remember how to do this? T4. Ooh, generator only. And if I go, we can use a little bit less torque here. Let's go for F12. Oh yeah, we're generating. We can go for zero. I don't want to regen because I'm not connected to a battery here. If I go R12. There we go, and uh, S for zero. Now, if I go back to T0, we can shut the inverter off. Now, the last time I tried this, I got a runaway, but if I go T5, that should bring up both the uh, motor and the in, that, both the motor and the generator. So we go F15, Eagle, there to go. Spinning away. Ah. We got a runaway. Unplug the USB. So, yes, I still have some uh, weirdness going on there with my mode selection, but uh, at least it does actually work. So let's give you folks a little bit of a tour here. I've just got a random uh, board here um, that I think was for a BMS project that I was working on. It's just got a SAM3 processor on there, so I can just program it with Arduino. Uh, at the minute, the only connections to it are a USB port and a CAN high and a CAN low. And CAN high and CAN low go through this super long cable here until they come up. And they go in here to a piece of connector block that you're going to see there. Um, and that is, oh, let me turn off that pesky high voltage. 
um, it's pesky. So in there you'll see that the only connections that we need to make to this inverter to get it to run are basically 12 volts uh, ground can high and can low. And uh, we've got up here on the top, there's no uh, interlock on the cover, so that doesn't need to be on. Uh, we've got our motor on this side, generator on this side, uh, connected in, got our three phase. So just to supply power to this, uh, and I do not recommend folks doing this, I've got a Variac, uh, a bridge rectifier, so that basically rectifies the mains. Comes in here through this, um, rather, it's not that warm, through a uh, electric cooker, electric cooker or oven element thing, which just acts as a uh, current limiting device. And then comes into our inverter. So these two brown wires just bring the high voltage DC in. Got this little power supply on the bottom here is supplying the 12 volts uh, to the inverter. Takes about 800 milliamps um, idling and about 850 uh, when it's actually inverting. Um, so what else we got going on? Obviously from the motors, there's a wiring harness here. I was fortunate enough to get with this thing and that just plugs into the inverter here. So that's got things like the resolvers and the temperature sensors. Um, so this is it really, motor generator. So we've got ourselves uh, worked out there fairly well now. Uh, controlling this thing. So let me get my beautiful face around here to you folks. So basically, uh, where's my microphone going so you can hear me? See, I've got a microphone now. Uh, so anyway, uh, information to run this was kind of fairly sparse. There was a bit spread out on the open inverter forum. So I kind of harvested that. And I was very lucky that I was able to find courtesy of a, a Mitsubishi forum, a can log uh, from the powertrain can. So I was able to work out uh, the kind of missing bits there. Uh, so we'll, uh, Put a link in the description for you. It'll be a GitHub um, just with that little simple bit of code that we were using to run the inverter here. Uh, so I think there's quite a few folks looking to do that. Um, looks to be from testing. It needs a minimum of 200 volts. Excuse me, oh, hay fever again. It needs a minimum of 200 volts to actually start doing things. Uh, might be possible to change that. I'm sure there's some voltage sensing circuit on the logic board, so you might be able to spoof that. Um, also up there on the GitHub, I'll throw in what other data that I have um, on this, because I do have a bit of data on some of the return messages and stuff like that, that um, might be useful. I'll make a module for this for the Zombie Varter VCU as well. So I'm not really going to do anything else with that bit of simple code there. It was just to work out the can and the signaling in a kind of an easy way. Because as you know, I'm not exactly Mr. Software. But this is an important point, folks, that we do need can logs, you know, can logs are the kind of bread and butter of being being able to uh, make this stuff work. Um, and it's not, you know, it's not like I'm asking for the keys to your house or the plans to your house or even the dimensions of your house. I'm just looking for a picture of your house from across the street. So, do have some more content 
coming to you on this uh, Mitsubishi stuff fairly soon, but I just thought I'd make a quick video uh, just to let you know that we do have the thing spinning and you'll be obviously able to do that yourself, either from the little bit of silly code that I've just done there or courtesy of the Zombie Varter VCU. Woohoo! So, that's it. Usual suspects. Dislike. Unshare. Do not subscribe to this stupid channel. Links in the description will be the usual suspects, JLC, PCB, PCB Way, Open Inverter Forum, um, GitHub, obviously Patreon and PayPal, where you can go to not support me, please. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, as usual, until next time, um, happy torque commanding. <laughs>